decided to take me one day and take a little break. So, I'm going to go see the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. I'm only a couple hours away from it, so I figured I'd just drive over and go see it. And I like driving. Driving's very peaceful to me, so lets me take a drive. So that's where we're going today. So we're going to go see the Golden Gate Bridge. Hopefully traffic's not really bad. I left like at 7 o'clock this morning, so it is California. It is San Francisco. Traffic's gonna be bad. I have hit traffic now. Oh, California. <laughs> I swear, every time I come to California, it's like you're always going to hit traffic. No matter where you're at in California, you're going to hit traffic somewhere. It's just absolutely crazy. Like, I don't understand. I mean, I know tons of people live in California, but why is there so many people that live in this state? I'm not saying anything bad about this state, but it's a beautiful state. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love coming to see the nature here in California. It's definitely a beautiful state with all kinds of different scenery. But uh, California is so overpriced. The gas is ridiculous. The cost of living is ridiculous. Groceries are ridiculous. What else is ridiculous? Taxes. Oh my god, the taxes are outrageous here. Um, yeah, I ordered food the other day uh, through Uber Eats. And um, the food was just for me and my friend. And that's just two people. And the taxes on that were almost $16. Which is like another plate of food so crazy so that's why I don't understand because you hear people complain too all the time about gas prices in California the cost of living in California rent in California you hear all those people even locals even California people complain about it but therefore this state is overpacked I don't get it You can go to so many different other states and get a job and live a lot cheaper than California. I call California a different country. <laughs> Every time I come to this state, I'm like, oh, I'm going to a different country. I'm leaving the states. I'm going to another country. Because I feel like California is just a country. It really should be its own little country. Now, if you're from California or you live in California, I'm not knocking your state because you know things are way expensive here. You know it. <laughs> but you do live in a beautiful state. So it is definitely a beautiful state. You have the ocean, the mountains, the forests, um, the hills. I mean, you have it. You have it all in this state. It really is beautiful, but it's just so overpriced. 
and so overpacked. Man, if you lived here in California and you had to go to a job at 9 o'clock in the morning, I think you probably have to leave it by 7 o'clock to get to your job. I've been sitting at this, uh, I'm about to get on an interstate, and the interstate is backed up. So I'm on like a side road trying to get up there to that interstate, and I've been sitting at this light in this line of traffic for 30 minutes now. Okay, I'll make it to uh, the Golden Gate Bridge eventually, I guess. So, here's a funny story about me and the Golden Gate Bridge. So, last year, I was in this area, and I was driving to the Pacific Northwest. And so, I rerouted myself so I could drive over the Golden Gate Bridge, because I've never driven over the Golden Gate Bridge. And I only had to reroute myself like an hour out of the way. So, rerouted myself, had the GPS going and I'm just driving and driving and driving. I was so excited to go see the Golden Gate Bridge and to be able to drive over it. I call my Aunt Cindy and I'm like, I'm gonna be driving over the Golden Gate Bridge. How cool is that? And she was like all excited for me and everything. And I was like, when I get to the Golden Gate Bridge, I was like, I'm gonna call you by video call. I was like, and I'm gonna put the, the phone on the dashboard so you can ride with me on the Golden Gate Bridge and you can see it and everything. Like I was so excited. And then Aunt Cindy, my aunt, she was excited. So like a few minutes later, I call her because I see this big old bridge ahead of me. I was like, I made it, we're at the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm like so excited. And then I start filming it. I get my GoPro and I start filming it with the GoPro. And then I put the phone up here, you know, in the window. So uh, my aunt could, you know, watch me drive on the Golden Gate Bridge. And she could feel like she's there and everything. And I'm just so excited because I'm driving on the Golden Gate Bridge. Like, just excited. So I get on the bridge, drive through the bridge. And then I get to the other side of the bridge and I look at my, you know, I get on the phone with my aunt and I'm like, how cool is that? You know, blah, blah, blah. And then my aunt Cindy was like, yeah, that was pretty cool. And so I hang up the phone with her and then I just continue driving. And then I'm sitting there thinking, was that the Golden Gate Bridge? I thought the Golden Gate Bridge was supposed to be gold. This bridge was silver. So then I get all confused and everything. So I'm like trying to find somewhere to go pull over and stop so I could see, was that the Golden Gate Bridge? Because I rerouted myself on the GPS for me to go see that Golden Gate Bridge. And mind you, I just wanna let you know, obviously I know what the Golden Gate Bridge looks like, but because my adrenaline was up and I was so, so excited and I had my aunt on the phone watching everything. I just wasn't thinking correctly until I got off the bridge. So I was just caught up in the excitement of I was on this Golden Gate Bridge. So like I finally find somewhere to go pull over and I get on my GPS and I look 
and it was not the Golden Gate Bridge. Nope. So even though I rerouted myself to go to the Golden Gate Bridge, my good old GPS rerouted me from that route because of traffic and took me a different way. I was not happy, <laughs> not happy. <laughs> and the different way that it took me was far away from the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> so, <laughs> But I recorded the whole thing thinking that I was on the Golden Gate Bridge. So I'm pulling that old clip up from last year because it's pretty freaking hilarious. And I'm gonna share that clip with you guys right now. And you guys will see how excited I am. And I cannot believe it didn't dawn on me that I was driving under a silver bridge <laughs> and thought it was the gold, golden gate bridge. Okay, enjoy this clip. Can anyone take a wild guess, a wild guess on what this bridge is? going to take a wild guess that you guys couldn't figure out what bridge it is. Well, I'm going to tell you guys what bridge it wasn't. And that is the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> so I thought it was the Golden Gate Bridge. I literally rerouted my route so I could go over the Golden Gate Bridge. And so I'm driving and then all of a sudden I see this huge bridge and I get excited. I call my aunt. Well, I video called her and I'm like, okay, ride with me on the Golden Gate Bridge. And I put my phone with her on the, the video call and we both thought we were going over the Golden Gate Bridge. So then I hang up the phone with her and then I start thinking something is not right. This bridge was not gold. It was silver. And then there was no areas for me to pull over to take pictures. Because I've driven over that bridge before. And I know at the end of the bridge, there's areas for you to stop to get out. So I get off at an exit and I pull over and I start Googling. And apparently my GPS decided it wanted to reroute me on my drive and I did not go over the Golden Gate Bridge. I was so disappointed. I was so sad. Here I thought I was going over the Golden Gate Bridge. But no, I was going over a whole nother bridge. Thank you, GPS.
Okay. Made it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I just drove around for 45 minutes trying to find a parking area that I could stop to see the Storm Bridge and get a nice picture of it and all that stuff. Um, all the main parking areas for the Golden Gate Bridge were completely packed. Um, and I found a little area over here. Looks like they have the news station over here. I don't know if you guys can see behind me. There's a news station. Maybe I should go try to get on camera since I am used to being on camera. I feel like YouTuber Wandering Gypsy. Live from the Golden Gate Bridge. Pretty cool. And of course it's really windy, so. But I think what's cooler to me, and I know this is gonna be a little weird to you guys, but for some reason I am fascinated with like the prisons, the historical prisons and the famous prisons. Like I just passed by the San Quentin prison and I'm like, huh, that's pretty cool to see that prison. I know, I'm strange. But over here, I am almost 99%, okay, 99.5% sure that that is, what do you guys think that is? Over there. Am I even pointing at it right? Right there. You guys probably can't see it. But that's the, that's Alcatraz. And I'm almost sure that's Alcatraz. That's pretty cool. Well, that was pretty cool and neat to see the Golden Gate Bridge. It was very, very windy. And then a lot of people started showing up, meaning a lot of kids also. So I went ahead and, and left. Um, it was still pretty cool. I'm glad I got down there before the massive amount of people. I have to say, I'm glad I did not drive my Jeep today um, I drove my friend's Jeep because I think I would have been gripping the steering wheel and been a nervous wreck if I would have been driving across that bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge in my Jeep because my Jeep is, it's wide. <laughs> I mean, it would have been doable because I saw trucks go over it. I see a bus going over it right now, but yeah, I got the, I got the spacers on my tires and uh, the big huge tires. So that would have been nerve wracking going over the bridge and that. But how cool was that? I got to see Alcatraz. I actually looked up to see how much tours were to Alcatraz. Um, and I think they were like 80 something dollars, which I guess isn't that bad considering it's a, a popular place. Oh, there's one of those Google. Those Google map cars, you know, that takes pictures of all the things. I wish I would have known it was going to be driving by. I would have like been staying outside doing some funny pose or something. <laughs> doing jumping jacks or something. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, it was pretty cool to see Alcatraz. And then also just to see what a beautiful, majestic looking bridge. Like, it definitely has that majestic look to it. And then that's pretty cool that I got to see Alcatraz just out there in the middle of the water. Like, that's so crazy. I 
I think I'm going to take the long way back to my friend's house and I'm going to take the highway one that goes right along the Pacific coast. It's like one of the most scenic highways and famous highways in California. Highway one goes all the way up and down the Pacific coast and it's a really beautiful drive. So it's a little, I believe it's like 30 minutes longer if I take highway one but it's gonna be a nice drive so and pretty <laughs> 